Hey there, Board Game Maniacs. As promised for video two for the month of Kick-Ass Board Game, we have none other than Maniac Shelly and myself, and we are going to try to find and not beat, but kill and maim because I'm really angry. Spoiler alert from last week of uh, Red Mist. Go check out the first video with the solo play. This is a two player game, as you can tell, because Shelly and I. And next week will be a three player game, and then the week after that will be a four player game. And the reason why we're doing this is number one, this is a great game to play. Number two is we want to try to prove or disprove all of the buzz and talk that is on the internet about this game saying it is unbeatable that you only get a chance or a close chance if you have four players. We're going to put that to the test and see what happens. So let's go to the board, see who, what character has which and we'll start trying to find that darn red mist coward bleep bleep bleep. Shelly chose to use Night Bitch. She starts at the library with three money Seven happiness, one strength, two social media, and four health. Now you can see she has a max of four health for her and three dollars. And she starts off with her starting item, which is a whip. And with this whip, it's a one-handed item. She can roll a red die, but then it is tapped, and she has to, in the refresh phase, untap it or unexhaust it. She has her cards all set up too as well and the unknown green card which we're hopefully hopefully going to get at. And my character is again kick ass because we have to try to keep it uniformly the same. Uh, to a point as the first player I started off with kick ass. Now I'm gonna keep playing kick ass and Shelly's gonna be playing night bitch and for uh, episode three which is three player should be playing night bitch again and we're gonna just keep it consistent to see if we can beat this game that is apparently very difficult. I did have a difficult time, I have to say, the first the first time being solo play, but a lot of fun, very strategic. We have to be very clever here, Shelly, so that we can try to figure out how to win this game and, you know, just kill the red mist. Now, one thing, Shelly, that I want to mention to you is uh, if we do manage to find to beat Red Mist this game, mm -hmm. when we do player three, or a three player game, then we go on to another boss that will be randomly selected. And if we beat with the three player game, that boss, then another boss will be selected. That's not fair. We should just keep playing the same boss because then we know how to kill it. Well, yeah, but that's. Villains are very mischievous and, you know, they're evil, so we just have to kill them. Fine. <laughs> Um, you played this game off camera with me trying to help me figure it out. And what were your thoughts about the game? Did you find it easy when the two of us no, played? It's not easy when even the two of you played. No. And but one thing we didn't do, we didn't see it in the instructions, was starting off the game with the oh, starter the weapon. Starter weapon. You mean when we got to go wherever we needed to go and couldn't fight anybody? Yeah, exactly. We Shelly and I played it and uh, we didn't have a starter weapon. So she has her whip this time and I have my sticks. So hopefully that will just benefit, benefit us even more so that we can finally beat yeah, this game. Yeah, we can actually fight. Yeah. All right, let's go to the game and start playing. The two of us are starting off in the library. Now, it does say in the rule book to the two of us pick an activation card. And we play them down at the same time when we can choose. But we don't really necessarily have to pay, put them down at the same time because we could just... Lay one down and say, well, I want to try to do this. And then Shelly can put one down and say, well, if you're doing that, I'm going to do that. Either way, we're just going to pick an activation card, lay it down, and decide what we're doing. Before we start off with the event phase, now again, this is on player two now. The last week it was on player one. And you can see, from, during the spawn, we already spawn two minions and we go up. Now, with the solo mission, when it was spawning, I never spawned anything until, like, uh, round three at least. And that was kind of very nice as opposed to spawning them right away. But anyhow, it's event phase first, so we're going to swing over. These have already been shuffled. Now again, two player. Pull the event phase. It's right here. Oh, we've seen this last game. I don't like this one. Soup for the poor. Place one interest token each at the library, central park, and hospital. To remove one token, spend one time and one dollar. Remove all tokens, that's what we have to do to complete this event. 
and if we do we get two happiness and uh, social media as well as the minion tracker goes down now if we lose though we lose two happiness and we also lose social media so we've seen this in the last game I did shuffle I was kind of hoping that this wasn't gonna come up but oh well it does and we just have to deal with it you can see here we had the interest tokens now one thing I forgot to mention the last game is when you're placing them in your interest tokens, you want to keep them all uniform. That is in the same color per event that you have to lay them down. So a green at the hospital, green at the library, and green at Central Park. And again, to remove this, we have to spend one of our time, and also we have to spend one dollar. So we have six dollars between us, so we should be able to afford it. So we have to play it, you know, sensibly. We both are starting at the library, so I'm thinking what we should do is, number one, pick one of these up, and if somebody has a really long time, or movement, three, I think time is only two, though, to get up there as fast as possible, and the hospital. But before we can do this, you know what we have to do, don't you? No. We have to spawn minions. No. <laughs> yeah. No. All right, spawn, first spawn of the morning phase is going to be basic spawn spawn goes up one so first off let's raise this up so there's two minions that are going to be spawned and we got to spawn them at the dock and the library there's the minion at the library and one at the dock now it is not on three so we don't have to place it on the third location which would be the police department now Shelly we get to play some activation cards to see if we want to either fight and kill one picks up the one picks up the token and the other one kills or we just want to say forget about the bad guys and start cleaning up these interest tokens right away so Shelly what are you going to play for your time well for my time I'm gonna do my time plus I'm gonna spend a dollar okay that's right so that I can pick up this here yep so I picked up this that is now here that's one of our so this Events. goes back to the bank, the that dollar. Goes to the bank. And this gets discarded. Right. Now, because you spend time, you get two citizens. So I've got two citizens. So and you can place them anywhere on any one district. one on City Hall. That's a very smart thing to do from the get-go. Actually, I'm going to put both on City Hall. All right. So that you is where... You don't want them on City Hall. Why don't you want them on City Hall? Because if, if we get six on City Hall, we're dead. Yes, we, we lose we the dead. game. That's right. We don't die. The heroes don't die, but we lose the game. Now, I am also going to spend... Um, no, I can't spend that because that's a specific card for library. I'm going to spend free time. I can move to and I have my time. So, I'm going to go... But are you going to use your dollar to get this? Certainly. So, I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to spend one of my moolahs to pick this up. Now, on top of that, since we picked this up, actually, we're just gonna place that time token there. And there, just let us know how close we are. But from where I spent my time token, you see here I have a happiness or a strength. And right now, I'm gonna increase my strength, which gives me an extra red die. Now, this is clean up. It's already cleaned up, so I do get my happiness, so still. So I get close, plus, my strength and my happiness because nobody was here. If there was nobody here, Shelly would have got the two citizens plus an extra citizen because it was a cleanup. But unfortunately, no. So these are tapped. They go sideways for exhaustion. And then we are going on to the afternoon phase. That was the morning phase. Shelly was all excited. Like, okay, we're going to end. Oh, yeah, we got to do it again. Right? Yeah. Yes. All right. So another spawn happens, and it is plus one. So this goes up yeah. to three now, and it's kidnapped. Each player with a personal card in hand loses one happiness. Personal is the ones that have like the the heads shadow onto them. Ah, oh, mine are even used. Uh, it's but it's still in your hand. It it's don't not matter. Play. Yes. I know it's not in play, but it is counted as in your hand. But it's exhausting. So that means both of us are going to lose a happiness. With the spawning done, we have hospital, 
another one in the library, and one in the police department. Now, we can choose to do what we want. So, I'm kind of too far away to just, you know, get over to here. You're the closest, so you can spin your movement to go over there and pick it up. This is my idea. You can do what you want. I'm just suggesting. Me, I can maybe move two to here and try to combat these two or try to combat that one. It's just, if we don't kill the ones with the two on them, it, it's gonna fill up a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What, what are your thoughts onto this? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna pick a time movement one and I'm going to pick a fight one. Yes. You can see Shelly got her two movement and her dollar I'm closer to this, so I'll just move it for you. So you move over one, because you don't have to move your maximum, and you spend your dollar to remove this. Now this is great, and I'll explain why in a second, but this goes to the bank. This gets turned sideways because it is now exhausted, and we'll resolve that event after I go to attack for my fight, because I have my card already here. I get to move one, and then I fight, but for fighting, I'm going to lose one of my happiness. So I'm going to go right here, and now I'm going to battle. And for battling, where am I at? Where am I at? There we are. So I'm looking on the screen, I'm not with my eyes. Nice. Yeah. So for battling, he's one power because he's just a standard thug or a minion. So I have to battle him with two red dice, no defense. And hopefully, I will, you know, destroy him. Here goes. Two red dice. I need at least one hit. Actually, no, two hits, because he's got one defense. Oh, look what I did, Shelly. What did you do? Do you know what that means? No idea. That means I hit him with my sticks until his head split open. No, nice. So that, do you know what that means? That thug is dead. Well, let's just remove something. So you can see that thug is gone. He's not sent to the hospital, he's sent to the morgue because Kick-Ass just kicked his ass. Now, because there's nothing left, I don't get $3 to spend this, but I, I did clean this area, so I do my cleanup, which means I can remove one thug from anywhere I want. And I'm gonna take one from this library to say goodbye, thug, you're gone. And finally, we're gonna resolve the event. Now, we have our three interest tokens that we did just like so, and because we won, we both go up to happiness, and the threat track for the thugs, or the minions go down one, and we get a social media as well. That goes back down to two. My happiness, which is at six, goes back up to seven. Is it going up by two or one? No, it goes up two. Sorry. The happy face goes up by two. Yeah, so nine, and my social media goes up by one. So I'm at full happiness and I'm up one by social media. Shelly is up almost the full happiness. You're very happy though, Shelly. Oh, yes. And your very social media person. goes up to 500. So you get 500 likes. Mm -hmm. You're very popular on social media. Apparently. Yes. Now that is the first uh, event finished. And we only need two more events and then we're going to try to find the red mist in here and kill him. Like this happened pretty quick, I have to say. Like I don't really, I can't speak from experience. Don't count your chickens before you Yeah, I'm just saying it happened really fast. I can't really speak by experience because I only have three of these games under my belt. It's gonna crash. We're gonna crash and burn. Shade! Don't say that. Oh, we're gonna crash and burn. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. We're gonna find oh, that oh, red goodness. mist and we're gonna kill him. We're gonna crash and burn. We'll find out. Yep. You Are you playing on the red mist side? Yeah, Are you an know. evil villain? Of course I am. <sighs> we are on to the night phase now, so we have to spawn yet another minion card. I'll give it to you, Shelly. Aw, oh, thanks. Oh. The tracker goes down by one? Oh, show me. No, it, it goes up by one. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I, I thought that was, you excited me there for a second. So we're back to three. All right, so you need three spawns. Three spawns. Three spawns. Is there any other special subtext, or is that just a basic spawn card? Basic spawn card. Okay. 
Where are we spawning at, Shelly, with these minions? One at the police department. Police department, so there's nothing there, so we spawn one right there. One at the shop. At the shop, oh, there's nothing at the shop. But they are now. And where's the last one go? Hospital. Hospital, so there's two at the hospital now. And that is it for our spawn. Now we're on to picking our activation and doing what we do best, which is killing some bad guys. What are you doing, Shelly? What are you doing? Uh, playing a game. What are you doing in the game? What is your, oh, your activation? Oh, what, what am I doing? Oh, okay. Actually, I'm gonna fight. And what card are you using to I fight? I have the Renf Renge blah, 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 blah. The Vengeful Night Bitch. All right, you can see it here. And it's POW, which means fight. You lose a happiness, but you gain a social media. So you can adjust that accordingly now onto your character card, but yet you're going uh -huh. to fight this now too as well. And but that you, only works if you win, right? No, no, no it just, you get it automatically. Okay. So therefore you get one red die to roll. Hold on one second. And it's against a power of two. So you at least have to get like a three roll. Do your roll. So you got one. So you hit one of them. I'm just sitting back down and swinging over. Well, hold on. Do I not get two dice because I have? Can I whip them? Can't I whip them? Oh, hang on one second. I'm gonna check your card. Shelly just pointed out she's got the uh, exhaust, so she can exhaust her whip to get an extra red die. So she already rolled one and got one hit. So now she's gonna roll, and she got two hits. Now let's go and see what that happens to the minions. Now what she did, she whipped the two of them and she whipped them really good. But nothing happened because each of them has a power of one so it would cancel out one of your hits. You roll two, they block two. So unfortunately you did not hurt them. That sucks. For my activation, I was going to play the school money. It had to be in the library. I thought I was going to be able to move one but it says zero movement and you can see them in the police department. I would at least have had one movement to get to the library, but I'm not. So I'm going to play my free time. I get two movements and it does have a time. So I'm going to tap that so that Kick-Ass goes, see ya. And he comes over here. He can't fight because it's not a fight card, but he spends his time and he gets two more citizens of New York. With these two free citizens of New York, I have some choices of where I want to place them. I kind of like the idea of filling up Central City Hall, I should say, because that's where, how we're going to lose the game is if this is filled up. But one of the ways that we can lose the game. So I'm going to place them there. And now we are going on to the sleep phase. On to the sleep phase, we do a couple of things. So update all effects with the moon icon. But we have nothing here with the moon icon. And the event is already cleared off and it didn't have a moon icon anyhow. So then we look at each of our character boards and if we get any bonuses. Nothing for me and I just get the one extra red die for that. And I'm just still swinging over here over Shelly. And do you have anything that nope. you get? Nothing? Nada. Alright, so that means we are on to the refresh phase part now. In the refresh phase, there are a couple of things that go on here. So, number one, you can draw a card <coughs> or gain a social media happiness or a dollar. Shelly, what did you do for that? Did you grab a card or what? I grabbed the dollar because it was broke. So you got two dollars now? I got two dollars. All right, well, the money's good, definitely. And uh, what I did is I got rid of one of my cards and I grabbed the uh, Carmelo, which is I can move three plus I spend my time and I get one of the citizens of New York. And that's pretty much all we did. The round track goes up to two and the cards, the, the cards are all refreshed both in the store as well as the activation of both. And that's it for the refresh phase. Now we're going on to round number two. I'm going to stop the camera, we're going to flip an event over, start playing it and we'll be back when something significant happens or like killing the red mist or the red mist killing us. I know I said I wasn't going to record anything, but we flipped over an event I thought it would be significant to show. So just a quick recap what the event is. It's Save the Cat. We have to put four interest tokens in Central Park. 
And to get rid of these interest tokens, we have to come up here, spend one of our time, and then roll the black die, which I'll show you. It is the faint die. It has either a symbol like that, or it Andy. is blank. And what if you roll this one, then we're gonna take one damage. If we roll that, we don't take, da take any damage. So again, even if you roll the faint die and you get this in Central Park and you take one damage, you're still able to take one of the interest tokens off. We have to take all four of them off though to save that darn cat that's in the tree. On Kick-Ass's turn, well, we're on to the afternoon phase right now. And you can see there's only two tokens left because we managed to get up and put two on there. We need two more. Kick-Ass was going to remove another one and he rolled a black die and he got a wound, which means he goes down one health point. But he still gets rid of that exclamation mark. On the night phase, what did crazy Kick-Ass do? But he stayed in this location. He spent his time removed the last interest token and he rolled the blank so it don't take any more damage. And for Shelly, what did you decide to do, Shelly? I'm going to move, use one of my free time, and I'm going to come down. Because there's a the bridge. Department. Yep. I'm going to spend three dollars. Alrighty. Spend my three dollars. Oops. Now, you can clear any district you want yes, of so minions. And you can see we kind of are getting stacked up with minions. So what do you want to clear up? the hospital? All right, so the hospital is gone. But unfortunately, you don't get the cleanup because no, you have the two here. But the hospital is the pushing, hospital pushing is, it is to clean. another district that has two on yes. it already which spreads out to the other district. So we got rid of the hospital. We did. And that was the night phase. Now we're on to the sleep phase and then we're gonna do the refresh phase. Then we'll be back to show what the event is. Oh, actually, before we even stop, we got to get rid of this event card. So this event card, we get rid of these tokens of interest because we, we managed to do it. And now we both, get two social media and this bad minion track goes down to one. So that's gone. Now just a reminder, you only need three events to spawn the Red Mist event cards, which is one of the bosses. We're doing really good here. Like, I'm surprised how well we're doing. Mm -hmm. And we are just on round two right now. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. Hey, John. We're on to the refresh phase for round number two, and we refreshed everything here and everything here. You now, Shelly, on your refresh phase, what did you choose to do? I upped my social media. And what happened when you upped your social media this time? Well, when we're in the moon phase. The what phase? The moon phase. The sleep phase. Moon phase. Moon phase, sleep phase. Yes. Sleep phase. Yes, what happens in the sleep phase? Well, we have to get there first. We need to get some on there. We don't have any sleep phase icons on there. No, 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 you don't have to have one. It has to be sleep icons. Right. We don't no. have any sleep icons. Just to clarify, we were a little unsure about something, but we did figure it out. So what your social media, where you're at, I'm just gonna swing over here. So you can see here. So when we go to the sleep phase, you can kill one minion in each adjacent district to where you are. So what that means is just say Shelly decided to stay here and during her sleep phase, or just the sleep phase in general, she's able to kill one minion in each adjacent. So this ain't adjacent because she's here anyhow. That technically is adjacent because it's connected by a bridge so she'd be able to take him out and she'll be able to take one of these out too as well for free in the sleep phase. So that's a very powerful social media skill that you got because you became very popular. Mm -hmm. That's why. Oh, I wish I had that card. In any other case, um, what I did is I just, just chose to get a dollar. So I got three bucks now and that is it. And we are on to round number 
three, so that goes up here, and we do the next event card. You can see we got all the events. Now, if we beat this next event, Shelly, do you know what that means? We have to find the... The red mist. That guy. Yeah. So what is that one, that event? Prison break. Oh. Every sleep phase, mm -hmm. spawn two minions in the police department. Oh, lovely. Massive prison break scares the city. We need to kill four minions in the police department. And what happens if we do? Um, well, the tracker doesn't go up? Or it goes down one. goes down one. Yep. Oh, okay. So the and minion tracker will be down. two social medias. Each, each hero gets two social medias. And if we lose? You get no, you go down a social media and a minion in each occupied district. So an extra minion goes in each occupied district. We seen this the last game, and that was one of the really, really bad ones. Uh, I don't like that. So anyhow, the, we're on to the next event. We'll be back when something big happens. But what's really beneficial about this card, though, is you have a counteracting social media skill where if you don't go down your social media this turn, when it comes time to the sleep phase, you're going to kill one minion in every adjacent district to where you are. Sure. That, well, that's a good thing. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's play the game. On to the night phase. What we mentioned, we put all the more minions that you can see the board is pretty full. But Shelly and I discussed that game. We decided to both go to the library, spend our time to get two of the citizen tokens, because then City Hall is filled, so nothing will happen. And also, we have one in Central Park. And we have one in the hospital. Now, another thing too as well is where Shelly moved here on her sleep phase because she got such high social media skills. What's going to happen is going to remove a minion from there, going to move a minion from there, and we're going to move a minion from there. So that's going to be three minions gone off of the board just for her standing where she is with her social media status. And it's kind of like the New York citizens like, hey, I know you, you're really popular. And then She's like, well, could you go to like the police department and the hospital and Wall Street and, you know, clear a couple of them thugs out for me since, you know, I'm so popular. You should do what I'm, do what you're told for me because I'm the queen and they'll listen to you. What do you got to say about that? Because you're the queen. I'm the queen? Yeah, you're the queen. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, but we also have to remember too as well because we are on to the sleep phase now. We do have the prison break where unfortunately it says every sleep phase spawn two minions in the police department. So first thing we have to do is spawn the two minions in the police department. So one would go here, but that would stop the, the New York citizens like, hey, you're not going here. So that's there. So we only put one minion here now. And uh, that is it for the sleep phase for that part. But now we go on to, we have to resolve or update the sleep phase for this. So Shelly's here. So goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. And goodbye. Goodbye. That is really powerful. I don't think you should go up anymore on your social media skills because once you go up or down from there, you're going to lose that ability. Yep. Yeah. So we're on to the refresh phase. We'll do that off camera and then we'll draw another event on camera. On the refresh phase, Shelly, what did you do? Did you choose anything? I took a dollar. You took a box, so now took you a have dollar. a dollar. So you're I not poor. I have a dollar. I'm not poor no more. All right. And for me, I exchanged one of my broke. cards. You're, you're broke? I'm just broke. I'm not poor. No, I'm now broke. You're broke. Yes, that's right. That's I'm difference. broke, too. I'm not poor. So I exchanged one of my activation cards to get this one, which is I'm a superhero. I lose happiness and one health. But I'm able to get an extra red die and a blue die, which is really, really good. I like that. I like it a lot. And we added one of the minions to the prison break because where Shelly on her sleep phase was able to remove one here and here and here that one of them goes here. So now we only have to get four to get that event. And we are on round number four now and we have to draw the next event card. And I'm not liking this. Who drew the last one? You did, but I'll you let you. You draw read. them and I keep reading them. Okay, you can read it. Go ahead. Ew. I don't like that. We're looking for jobs. Yeah, because we're broke. <laughs> True. 
Each player discards a job card, place it next to the board. This card cannot be used. Add one interest token to each to Wall Street, Shop, Hospital, and Police Department to remove a token spend spend a time. Uh, so we pretty much have to go looking for a job because we lost our job right now. Uh, if you have so a job token I do. or job activation card. So you have one there? And so do you. And I have one, so I take this one. I'm just going to put it to the side. And then we have to put our interest tokens down and move on from there. We're still on round number four and we are on the sleep phase. You can see that there's so much more minions that's been added. But what we managed to do is we cleared out the police department and this got full pretty quickly, but because we cleared out this, we were able to clean up one minion somewhere. So we took it from the city hall to try and last us. Now, we have to do the sleep phase part. So number one is we're gonna spawn two minions right here in the police department. Now on top of that, uh, we don't have to advance any of the tracks for anything for the sleep, or did you gain anything, Shelly, from, no, you're, you're still, but you still have this ability. Just so everybody know, this ability, Shelly kind of dropped one for the uh, social media, but she did play this card here, which gave her an extra social media, so it gained back up again, which was a really smart thing to do because that way we're just, <laughs> we're trying to holding on as much as possible. So these two spawn, you know, because you have that so social media skill, Shelly, you're able to take a minion off of here. So. We were running out of minions to populate because they were sitting here, so I just added them with the, uh, the interest tokens, but that's four minions, so this event will be cleared. Now also too as well, any adjacent one with Shelly had the power, so that one gets rid of. That one gets rid of too as well, so that's, we got a couple of minions back. And for the sleep phase for that part, I think that's it. So we're just going to resolve the event phase right now before we do the refresh phase. Now this event is finished because we did successfully complete it. So that is the third and final event that we have to do so we can get to the boss, which is the Red Coward Mist. So poison, uh, the prison break, we go up to social media, the track goes down one. So my social media it went up to here, so I get a shop minus one. So when I buy an item in a shop, it costs me one less dollar. That's good, because I'm broke. I only have one dollar left. Now, on top of that, Shelly increased her social media. So every time she gains a social media, because she's at her max, she gets a dollar. But she also gets to activate her green card. The green card that Shelly has, it's the famous Night Bitch. Movement of three, and you may kill any two minions or super minions in two different districts. And that's a time, that's a really good card to have. And she's just, she's getting rid of just this uh, standard Night Bitch one where it you lose one happiness. But that's really, really good that, you know, she's able to get that. That's super powerful. I'm just gonna stick that card underneath there since we don't need it. You know, Shelly, just to let you know too as well, as I wasn't sure, I looked up some uh, comments everybody said, but because you had that social media skill, now if you drop, do you lose that green card? No, you don't. That is constantly into your, your card count of five now, which is super. And on top of that, because we finished our three, our three events, when we go on to the next event phase, which is gonna be the next round, this goes down one, they get rid of, and we get the uh, the red mist plot cards as well as the red mist event cards. We'll be back after we set everything up and go on to the next event. Big spoiler alert, I'll give you a count of three, two, one. All right, so the first video in the solo play, we did get to the red mist coward bastard, and everybody knows what happens, so you can see X for hits, so there's two players, so it goes up two hits, two shield, and this health is going to be four health that we have to battle. We have to take the eight red mist tokens, shuffle them, and place them face down on each district. So you can see there, they are populated on each district too as well, 
And on top of that, when we do complete one of the boss events, we take two random tokens and we flip them over and we do accordingly. If one of them says shit, then the red mist is found and then all we have to do is battle him to, to win the game. Uh, battle him and, and beat him to win the game, I should say. Uh, now, if we don't complete a red mist event and it goes off of the board, then we take two random ones and reveal them. If one of them says shit, then that means, oh crap, we just lost the game. So again, that's another way that we can lose the game, which is really, really bad. So just to go over how we can lose the game, there's pretty much three ways. Number one, City Hall gets full. We lose the game. Number two is if we find the reveal the shit card uh, while we have to get rid of two of the red mist tokens by losing an event, we lose the game. That's number two. And the third one, the way that we do it is, I'm just trying to remember, my brain is hurting. Um, I think if we, yeah, if we fail the, uh, we get to round nine and we don't complete the main objective, which at this point is going to be kill red mist. That is the third and final way we can lose the game. So Shelly, are you ready for this? Oh, as ready as it's going to be. We, we did phenomenally well. You have to admit that the Pretty last close to dying, though. the last round that we did, you were convinced that we lost the game. But because we're, we managed, because you played the, the fight card and you got that social media skill back, and then I fought one of the guys in the police department and killed him, we were able to complete that event, which gave us more minions, and we were able to continue on. So, we're still in there. Barely, but we're still in there. If, yeah. yeah, if we had a cape right now, it probably would be caught into the jet engines and it's slowly sucking us in to kill us with the jet engines. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but we're not, we're not giving up because we're superheroes, not super zeros. Right? Sure. <laughs> That's right. Let's continue on. All right, Shelly, flip over the first boss event and see what happens. You're doing it so slow. Come on, just do it. You don't want to see this. I don't want to see it, but we have to do it. They're getting stronger. Uh -huh. While this card is in play, all minions have one power and two life points. Kill three times minions without using the police department. Without using the police department? Yep. Okay, so that means Two times minions? Three. Oh, three times minions. So three times two players is six. I do math. Ooh. So we have to kill six minions without using the police department. And what that means specifically is we can't use this police department ability where we donate $3 to the, the police fund to send them out to arrest like a district full clean of minions up. to clean up. clean up. So, yeah, we, this cleanup we can't do, and we can't do this as well. So, X name on any of the police department name. That's Latin. Okay. You didn't know I could speak Latin, did you? Yes, I did. Uh, I didn't know I could speak Latin. Uh, you talk a lot in your sleep. Oh, do I? Yeah. Mm, okay. A couple other languages in there, but uh, I'm sure about what they are. <laughs> All right, so we're going to continue on with the gameplay. We're on the the villain spawn phase for round number five and we were at six spawns so we pulled this and it said plus one so we were at five but it went to six every player with a job card in hand loses a buck I have a job card but hey, I don't broke. have a buck Shelly has a job card and she had a buck she had two but she had she threw it out because that's okay. just what happens and then we went to the spawn phase. So it was six spawn, one in the shop, one in the library, and one in the docks. And then it would be shop, library, docks again. But by doing that though, um, you can kind of see right here what happened. City Hall is overrun yet again. The red mist coward bastard foiled our plans yet again and kick ass. And night bitch. night bitch have lost to Red Coward. He's such a coward. Shelly, we lost the game. I see that. 
We got to the Red Mist. Yes. But we didn't, we weren't able we to fight We didn't get very them. far with the Red no. Mist. No, we didn't. Because we, we lost. Yes. City Hall got overrun. Yes. Oh boy, okay. So just so we're, cu I want to be curious, let's see where the, uh, the crap card is. So first is the hospital. No, so it's a health. This one here is the library, and it's a blank. Shelly, police department. Shit. Oh, uh, so police department. The other ones, heart, blank, blank, lose a happiness, and one shit card. Lose a happiness. Hmm. Okay, so that was a two-player game for Kick-Ass by Cool Mini or not. We successfully failed at this game. Oh yeah, we're really good at that. Now, successfully failed. spoiler alert again, my solo mission I played last week, I lost. Because I got to the Red Mist and I lost. Two-player game, two-player game, we lost. So... For all the research that I've been doing online and following all of the forums and everything else, and everybody, again, I keep repeating this, I repeated it into the uh, first video, I'm gonna repeat it in the second video, and that is... You lost? No, 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 that they say that this game is... Hard? Unwinnable. <laughs> I, I guess that's the, the proper word, unwinnable, which means you there's no way of winning this game. The only way that you can get very close and possibly a success here and there is by playing a four player game. But like a one player, two player, three player game, you will not win the game. And so far the consensus of judging it from two games on camera, that I'm starting slowly to agree with what everybody is saying. Now we suck. No, not that we suck. Oh, we, we suck, we've died. The, the game, the difficulty rating of the game. I want you to give it a difficulty rating between zero being, yeah, it's not difficult at all, and 10 being like, we'll never beat this game. Now, you played as much games, actually, you played three games. No. Or two games, two. right. One off camera and one on camera. I got two more games under my belt that I played, but I want your opinion. So do you think, judging from the two games, again, this is kind of like a biased opinion because we only played two games. But, the two games that you played, both were two-player games, would you say that you agree with the consensus online of saying that it's an unwinnable game? I don't For the most it's part? It's an unwinnable game. It's all about strategy. It is. And you know, I'd probably say it's about an 8.5 out of 10. For unwinnable? Unwinnable, yeah. Because there is a way to win it. You just have to figure out the strategy behind it. We do. Now, apparently we suck, so yeah. Having said the uh, strategy, you talk about strategy in that, is there anything in the game that you would have done differently and not, not play the game? Because I know you'd say, oh yeah, do something differently, not play the game. Because well, yeah, you I'm did have fun. Yeah, you, you have to say, though, <laughs> you did have fun. I did have fun. But is there anything in this game that you would have done differently? Is there a point that during this game that you played and you're like, oh, I should have done this instead of that? Or do you think that you played it the best to your knowledge? Well, I'm very, very social. Yes, you're very social. When it comes to that. <laughs> True. <laughs> so from that then... You know, it's just, you know, Last time I played, I didn't build up my social media. This time I built up my social media and actually gained a card that we never played before. Right. I would have liked to have seen that card come in effect. Yeah, it would have been nice. Because it is a really powerful card. Just sucks. With your two games that you played, would you give any recommendation of what you should do next game? Because in, in video three, there's going to be you, myself, and one other player. Because we're going to, again, keep it consistent and the same characters. So is there anything you want to try to do for the next game? Well, yeah. Besides when? Oh. I don't know yet. You don't know yet? I don't know yet. What about you? Me? Uh, well, with your character, what I would do with your character is I'd try to grab as much social media as fast as I can to get that green card so you can use it. 
that's one thing I would do with your character. With my character, what I would do is I would try to build up my strength as fast as I can, because when I'm at level five for my strength, I get a blue and red die. Okay, so do I. Oh, well, yeah, even with you for your strength. And I, would... I also, at once I get three strength, I get two social medias. And then four, I get social media and a blue die. Yeah, it's... it's... Night Bitch is all about social media, though. She is, she's very popular, yes. apparently. Yes. Now, also, too, as well, with mine, like I said, I will probably, the next game, I'm going to try to concentrate on getting my strength built up as fast as possible. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Okay. So I'm going to build up my strength next time, and I think what we should do as a group for playing is use the police department to our benefit as much as possible to clear them out. Now, when we did... Do you have something to say? No, I'm just looking at the minions. Okay. Um, all right. So what I think we should do next time is control. <laughs> Will you stop? This is very distracting. <laughs> Now, what I think we should do is concentrate on doing the police department and constantly keep trying to clear the city hall or putting the, uh, the, the, the New York um, citizens blocking the more. Can you do that on camera just once for me? Because I need to get a good <laughs> thumbnail for this video. So don't cover your eyes. Put them down a little bit. Yeah, no, go ahead. You're covering your eyes. You're going up. I know. <laughs> That's good enough. All right. So, anyhow, Board Game Maniacs, I hope you enjoyed video number two in the series for the month of uh, Kick-Ass the Board Game. All right. And remember, when you play these kind of games, it's very strategic, so you need to be able to communicate all the time with the people playing the game in a cooperative game with you, because this is a cooperative game. So until next time, Breaking Manics, you know what I'm going to say? Shelly, you know what I'm going to say? Be, no, realistically, do you know what I'm going to say? Um, hmm. I think it goes along the line of something like this. Be a maniac. Ah, yes, you're right. Till next time. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to keep up to date with Board Game Maniacs, click on the like and subscribe button to be notified when more videos come available. If you want to become an official sponsor of Board Game Maniacs, go to patreon.com slash boardgamemaniacs. Or you can go to streamlabs.com slash boardgamemaniacs1. That's right, and you can donate to help keep the lights on, keep food in our bellies, and play more games. We'll purchase more games, more equipment to make Board Game Maniacs evolve and get bigger and larger because of you, the viewers. I thank you from the bottom of my toes to the top of my head for all of your support. And until next time, Board Game Maniacs, be a maniac.